And it's so hard to just think, why is this happening to him? A search for a missing boy turns desperate. Now three days gone, police say they have no clue where he could be. <laughs> I'm so over it. $4,000 for a procedure that should have been covered by her insurance. The hospital wouldn't listen to her, so we stepped in. So why did you reach out to Contact 7? I have no options, and that's where the gap is. That is the problem, is I have nowhere to go. She tried to convince a judge to strip an officer of his gun. Now police are looking to put her in jail. And we begin tonight with breaking news out of Southern Colorado. El Paso County deputies are asking for any and all help finding this 11-year-old boy. He has been missing since Monday. When flyers have been handed out, searches conducted just all over and still no sign of Gannon Stout. And Denver 7's Gary Bro just got out of a news conference that was called by the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. So Gary, deputies seem to be at a loss here. Yeah, and their parents just minutes ago also made an emotional plea. Gannon Stout's parents hoping, saying that they really need the community to come together here, hoping they can find their son. And yeah, the El Paso County Sheriff, they did change Gannon's status from a runaway. He is now being considered an endangered person. 11 year old Gannon went missing Monday afternoon. He was last seen on Mandan Drive in his home in security. The police say Gannon's stepmother was the last person to see him. Again, his father did tell our sister station a few days ago that his stepmom, that he told his stepmom he was going to go play with some friends in the neighborhood. They never saw him after that. And Gannon's dad said his son never told them which friend he was going to play with. Well, since his disappearance, the community has really rallied in search of Gannon. And this evening, Gannon's parents holding back tears are still holding on to hope that their little boy will make it home. My son is a very loving kid. He wouldn't want harm on anybody at all. And it's so hard to just think, why is this happening to him? I have no clue, but my kid deserves to come home. My kid has a purpose. My kid has a life. And it's important to me, and it's important to everybody that's standing in this room. Again, and Daddy loves you so much. Please come home. The El Paso County Sheriff Office, Sheriff's Office did also say that if you have a tip, please call their hotline. Do not report it on social media, getting a lot of tips that way. They do want you to follow El Paso County Sheriff on social media in case you do want to help. That's the way that they are going to coordinate any searches. Reporting live here in Colorado Springs, Gary Broad, Denver 7.